Hi, this is Rebecca from the Upper Wakarutha uh, watershed, and this is our first update for our 2021 cover crop planting method comparison. This is an 11 acre field, and we are carrying out different methods of planting a cover crop. This year, the crop will be soybeans, and right now we're looking at the corn residue. To begin the project, we wanted to keep the tillage uh, path the same. And so we started out with GPSing the area that was turbo tilled last fall. And so that's, uh, we uh, created a file uh, by walking the area on an on X app and exporting that into uh, ArcGIS and uh, Google Earth. So then on June 7th, the operators uh, took another tillage pass just for a comparison purposes of, uh, you know, not further knocking down the stubble and creating a seed bed before planting the soybeans and then planting directly into the corn stubble from last year. So those are the comparisons that we're looking at right now, and we'll continue to update as we go throughout the season. Looking for moisture. Is that about the same? Yeah, it tastes like an inch, inch and a half. Okay. And that, I mean, Looks good. I think this corn, it, I mean, it's got like you don't have to go too far in this soil. See, you're already seeing moisture. Oh, yeah, you see a feather sprout compared right to, too. um, oh, yeah, I kind of heard that one. That one's really, that was really going to, but uh, yeah. you, you don't have to go very far in this soil to get hit moisture, but since they work that. There's not, you have to go down farther for moisture. So it'll be interesting to see. There's one. Yeah. Let's see. Not doing anything because it has no moisture to make it grow. This is just all it's dry and cloudy. Pretty much intact from planting. Yeah. How far down to moisture when you dig here? Um, it's probably. A little bit see there's moisture and you've got your top of your surface it's probably three to three and a half okay. it's kind of hard to tell 